camellias are the sirens of the plant world, big, blousy and overtly flirtatious. They've been gracing our gardens and vases for centuries, but they're no stranger to the catwalk either. Coco Chanel had a long love affair with the camellia, and it's an enduring motif in all of Chanel's clothing, jewellery and accessories. In fact, the camellia is sometimes called the Coco Chanel flower. Camellias are Asian beauties. There are varieties for sun or shade, an autumn, winter or spring colour. One of the things I admire the most about them is just how versatile they are in the garden. You can grow them as beautiful ornamental hedges, as feature shrubs in the garden, as standards, espaliers or even in decorative pots on a patio or balcony. Did you know that when you sip on a cup of green or black tea, you're actually drinking a brew that's made from the leaves of the tea camellia, a relative of this beauty here. So next time you're hosting a tea party, why not try one of these ideas for a really cute table centrepiece? Put big blousy camellia flowers in old fashioned teacups, or float the flowers in beautiful modern elegant glasses. Or you could go all out and decorate a tiered cupcake stand with glamorous camellias. I can't start my day without the right Kickstarter. And the soil and vegetable garden beds is pretty much the same. It needs a bit of TLC before it's ready to grow heaps of veggies. So let's talk dirty. The soil in these beds hasn't been productive for a while. So it's gonna need a few goodies before it's pimped up and ready to grow heaps of fruit and veggies. Firstly, I'm gonna fork over the soil that's already here so I can break up any big lumps and suss out what it's like deeper down. And, as I thought, not a worm in sight. But we don't need to take this out and start again. Instead, I'm going to add two buckets of compost per bin, and this will really help bring the soil back to life and add organic matter. Next, I'm going to sprinkle in a couple of handfuls of organic chook manure pellets. These are really going to gently feed the plants and enrich the soil. If you don't have these pellets, you can use any other composted manure. And now I'm going to use some eco-dolomite. This stuff is super fine dolomite particles suspended in a seaweed solution. So you actually dilute it in a watering can, just like this. This dolomite will really sweeten up the soil, correcting the soil pH and bringing it into the neutral range that veggies love. It will also add essential nutrients like calcium and magnesium. Fruit trees and many other plants in your garden will love a dose of this too. So check out our website for more tips on how you can use it. With the extra nutrients and organic matter that I've added, this veggie bed is roaring to grow. And in no time, worms will make their way in and the soil will even hold more moisture. And now we're ready for planting. But remember to keep some of this stuff on hand because even once you've got the plants in the ground, it's good to apply it once a season. Your garden will love you for it. Great Potted Style is all about mixing and matching different pots and plants to get the right look. And this spring, it's on trend to team calming neutrals with colours that are bold and playful. Start with flowers that are overtly feminine and then team them with a neutral toned pot, like this mason cup design in a sand colour, for a flirty spring combo. These urban light pots are genius because they look sophisticated and they're lightweight. Now we're ready for a splash of colour. Pansies are the go-to flower for playful spring attitude and they'll love you for popping them in a full sun or part shade spot. This spreading variety is called Lemon Surprise. Sounds a bit like a yummy dessert and the colour is delicious. It's also a bit cheeky because every now and then you get a little splash of purple in the flower. It's been blooming since autumn and will continue to flower all the way through spring. Now to really make those yellow flowers pop, I like to use a touch of silver and Cineraria Silver Dust is the perfect choice. For a darker colour scheme, you could team a lead coloured pot with the Spreading Pansy Blue Skies, then add a dash of curly leaf parsley, which is edible and textural. Settle the plants into their new home with a good dose of sea salt, and then give them fortnightly doses of Power Feed in the purple bottle. Now that's the one that's really designed to enhance flowering. Now these pots will never date. So next season you can fill them with something sexy and summery. For meat lovers, the no waste philosophy of nose to tail eating is right on trend. And it's great to see that veggie fans are jumping on the bandwagon as well with root to tip eating. And something like beetroot fits that brief perfectly. 
grow it from seeds or seedlings like these and plant them into a sunny spot with well-drained soil. I find the easiest way to plant these little beauties is to draw a shallow trench into the soil with your finger and pop the seedlings in, keeping them about 5 to 10 centimetres apart. Now run your hands down either side, filling in the trench and settling in the plants as you go. The warmer soils of spring and all that lovely sunshine will see these ruby gems jumping out of the ground in no time and the roots will be really quick and sweet to harvest. You can eat the young leaves fresh in salads or the older leaves you can actually cook up like kale or spinach. Beetroot is rich in a compound called betalanes, which studies suggest could be a weapon in the fight against cancer. And it's this compound that gives beetroot its famous red hue. I'm taking a step back into the past with my retro layered pea salad. Now the first layer of this salad is some chopped up cos lettuce or if you're really retro you could use iceberg lettuce. I've also hard boiled some eggs. I'm gonna layer this around the edge of my bowl. So where there is eggs there must be bacon. I've already crisped up some bacon here. So for a little bit of extra crunch and texture in the salad, I've got some sourdough bread that I've made into croutons. Next, some sliced mushrooms. And now for our hero ingredient, I have some fresh garden peas. So if you've ever grown peas yourself, you'll know how crunchy and sweet they are straight off the vine. In fact, you might not even be able to make this salad. So I've already cooked up the peas just by boiling them really simply and then blanching them into some cold water. And they are going to make the best layer of the salad. So this is where the salad starts getting a little indulgent. I've got some grated tasty cheese. Now it's time to make the salad dressing. So I've got some whole egg mayonnaise, a little sour cream, some French mustard and some lemon juice stir that all together. To top the salad off, I've got some chopped cherry tomatoes. I like to use the ones that have different colours because I think it looks pretty. So all you need now is to serve this salad with your best party smile. <laughs>